I've been asked this question before. Why study a rare disease? You know, these kids are gonna die anyways. And I've gotten that very many times, but if you're a parent, it's not a rare disease to you. It's very real and very current. With a small organization like this, you actually impact a person directly. Your donation's not getting lost in infinite bureaucracy. You actually do know exactly where it's going and it's going directly to families that need it and to change the outlook for the next generation of families as well. The GFPD has been really pioneering in a lot of different ways because this is really the place that you go to when you are a family affected by this disorder. It's a place where we could refer families for help and to meet other families and to meet researchers and also caregivers. A huge part of why the GFPD was so inspiring for us in the scientific side is because they really put a face to whatever we're doing every single day. The GFPD is not only helping in terms of research, which might be more long-term uh, impacts, but also on a short-term impact in improving the quality of life of those families. It all comes down to the people involved and the community. As scientists, it's a place for us to get together and see our friends from the patient community again. And putting a face to the cell line that you work with in the lab is, is really cool. It's pretty um, rewarding for me to see this patient in person and get to know that my project will contribute a lot to their life and their future. It's really worthwhile supporting uh, the GFPD. You should donate because it will help that person where it's not rare. At the end of the day, the people who are affected by rare diseases are people. They're like you and me. Anyone can be affected by rare disease.